Okay, hi. Hello. This is a resource for the five in nature ebook. Um, if you haven't got it, I'll try and attach it in the notes below. Uh, this is the second activity. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate this because uh, it's really hard to see it on the page. You actually have to do it. So five sticks, approximately all the same length. Uh, as you know, if you know me, my accuracy is not brilliant, but that's not what we're looking for here. And we're attaching them end to end with elastic bands. I'm just using here lengths of elastic because I didn't have any bands, uh, but it does the same thing. The elastic uh, elastic bands or something is you just need the stretch so that you can flex them. So you're going end to end. Uh, so I've got five to do here. So if you just bear with me for a minute, I'll have them done. And then I can show you. This is a really good... Uh, way to uh, to experience the fact that five is present in the pentagon and in the pentagram at the same star that they are in fact at the same time they are in fact the same entity um, which is an important thing to know in your journey into uh, shapes in the natural world it uh yeah so there's all five of them and i just do the last join here you can see they're all twisting around as it is uh right let's just twist that in there so you've got your pentagon okay five-sided uh, five shape. So they're all approximately the same length, so it's not exactly regular, but it is a pentagon. And you're taking opposite corners. Well, it's, a, it, it's not an even number, so they're not opposite, but take two corners that aren't next to each other. And with your right hand, twist that one down, that point, and with your left hand, twist the other one over it, and then push your elbows out. <laughs> And there you have it, there's your pentagram. That's your five-pointed star. And you can see within the center there, there's another pentagon. And it's a simple twist. So, and, and this, this, the size of this pentagon will fit that one inside it, if you see what I mean. And then there's another one in, in the middle there. So it's a really quick sort of twist, but it's a really nice thing to do because it demonstrates it. In, uh, some people call the pentagram star the intersected pentagon because the lines cross over, intersect, um, or the pentangle in the esoteric ways. Um, but it's just, it was hard to show in the book, so I wanted to do that there. So there you go, have a go. Um, you could try straws or something, they just need to have a bit of rigidity, that's all. Um, uh, so yeah, and the next one I'm going to do is the, the drawing exercise, which is uh, activity three. Um, so yeah, so hope you can join me for that. Thanks. Bye.